Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Sunday. What are you guys up to today? Anyway, took the trailer out and uh, gave it a bath along with the truck. It looks extra, extra nice. Uh, back to reviewing on this trailer. Uh, yeah. Uh, I did say I was going to make another video of, um, with my quad in the back. And let's take a look at that right now. Uh, I did say this trailer was made in Canada. Oddly, it was lied to. Uh, it's actually came up, they come up from the States, oddly. Why would a Canadian dealer say that, uh, you know, they're made exclusively in Canada when they are not. So, here you go. Proof. Made with pride. Yeah, okay. There's lots of Canadian manufacturers up here that do the exact same stuff, but this trailer is definitely not Canadian. Like I said, nice trailer for what it is. Very cheaply built. I'm not saying that's bad. Like anything I've ever seen with the rivets on the side. I think these ones are actually screws. Yeah. Hex style screws. They need to be tightened down after a little bit. Uh, if you live out in the country, blah, blah, blah. Um, they'll probably have to be re uh, taken apart, cocked, and then resealed again, like screwed back in. Uh, looks pretty good. This is the first time I got to wash it in the month I've had it. And uh, not too bad. Okay, so let's get back to um, my quad here. So there you go. I put one of those, uh, the tracks, tracks. Yeah, so uh, we call it Ericsson tracks. And I got them screwed down there. Just have regular wood screws in there right now until I get some uh, lag bolts. Or bolts would be actually the best. And it works out not too bad. It's uh, a little bit tight in there, but not too bad. Uh, my scrambler, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, it's a uh, 2016 Scrambler 850. Uh, it's got 29 and a half inch outlaws with a two inch prefix lift kit, big gun exhaust, Dalton clutch kit, spacers on the back. Uh, that's about it. I've been running this lift and tires for the last little bit and uh, all stock axles. So all those guys saying you can't run stock axles don't know. To talk about. Anyways, let's go back over here, open up this door. So there you have her. I, I kind of like this setup. It's a little more troublesome to, you know, strap them down if you're a big guy. Small guys, maybe not so bad. Uh, a little bit of more room up the front there still so that's not too bad for like gas spare tire whatever else you need to take with you so yeah so that is my 2000 2019 but i guess i bought it in 2020 uh 6x12 uh enclosed trailer i bought from canadian tire and like I said, it does a trick. If I had them had more money, I would have bought a better trailer, but you get what you pay for, basically. So than that, struck um take a look underneath if you want. It's fairly straightforward for a light trailer. Uh, it doesn't sack out the truck too much with, uh, I have to, uh, 
get a different hitch, one that's a little bit lower down. And that should be good to go. So it's Sunday here in Manitoba. And minus five. Gas has dropped down to 96.9, which is good. And I figured I'd take a truck and trailer in for its bath. Um, haven't washed my truck in a long time. But anyways, that is the setup on the bike. Quad, Drake, ATV, whatever you want to call it. And uh, does not too bad. So if you have any questions on the truck, trailer, quad, on the setup, on anything, let me know. And you guys have a great day. Talk to you later.